At the age of just 24, the Orlando Magic's Dwight Howard has become the NBA's most dominating big man. This season, Dwight was named Defensive Player of the Year for the second straight time and became the first player to lead the league in blocks and rebounding two years in a row. Watching him play with his size, his skill, and his power, he can seem like a basketball superhero who's larger than life. But there is much more to Dwight Howard than meets the eye. When you were in the 10th grade, you wrote a proclamation of your goals in life. What was on that list? The big one was changing, you know, the way people look at NBA players. You know, all of us get put in a certain category. You know, and I just, I wanted to always change that, that view of all NBA players. This is Dwight Howard, take one. Swipe, <laughs> take four. You know this guy? Hey, world. Uh, <laughs> Dwight has the charisma of a born entertainer. Now it's taking him into the world of acting with his role in the movie, Just Right. Oh, uh, well, there's a rumor going around that saying the next. Is acting something you want to do maybe later I on? I do. I want to do it now. Really? Yeah. While you're working, you still want to? I still want to do it while I have the opportunity to. Yeah. Everybody. But that's seriously what you want to do. You want to I be do. an actor. I do. I, I enjoy it. Tell me about impressions. I know that's something you like. Where'd that come from? How, how'd you get started doing that? I've been doing it my whole life. Everybody down, do it now. Everybody down, get down, get down. It's the governor. Dicky V, baby. He's a ptp -er. Oh, Elizabeth, I'm coming home. I'm coming home, Elizabeth. You just have an ear for it? Yeah. You know, I might hear somebody talking, and like, if I keep hearing it, I'm like, OK, I'm going to pick up on this in a minute. And then after a while, I got it. Kenny Ernie, but in LeBron James quit basketball today, he will be the greatest player to ever play the game. Why? Because he's LeBron James. And what's your best one? I think everybody likes Stan Van Gundy for some reason. <laughs> you guys got to play hard, right? No one-handed rebounds tonight. Grab the ball with two hands. For Dwight Howard, it seems that all the world's a stage. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. And he takes his show onto the court, where his exuberant personality comes shining through. Howard having a little fun with that block shot. I really enjoy watching you play because of the joy that you have. You have fun when you play. But you take heat about that, too. You know, they say you laugh too much. You don't take it serious enough. What's your reaction to that? I get kind of insulted when people say I smile too much. God has um, blessed me to be able to play basketball, so I'm always going to smile. You know, and I think people just think because I'm smiling that I'm not focused. But I think when I'm smiling, that's when I'm at. That's when I'm most dangerous. <laughs> People do not understand how much work goes into being who you are. Mm -hmm. You mentioned God gave you a great body, gave you a lot of ability, but you have to still go put the work in. Yes. And that's the part that I don't think people understand how much work you put into your game. I'm a gym rat. Two summers ago, Otis Smith, our owner, and the president of the team had a meeting with me and said, Dwight, you're in the gym too much. <laughs> but for me, it's all about confidence. That's the thing that I've been really working on is confidence. My teammates said, man, you shoot the ball so good in practice. And then I get in the game and I'm like, I don't want to fail. You know, so that's, that's the area that I'm trying to grow out of is not being afraid to fail. The Boston Celtics are going back to the NBA Finals. And it's Dwight Howard and the Magic are done for the season. After losing in last year's NBA Finals, the Magic season ended one round earlier this year with a defeat in the Conference Finals. And for Dwight, being a superstar athlete doesn't shield him from the pain that comes with failure. You're just normal. You're yeah. just like everybody else that happens to be a professional basketball player. You know, we have problems, we have feelings, emotions, all that stuff. And anytime I talk to somebody or meet different people, I just try to let them know, hey, I cry, I hurt, you know, I have, I go through the same problems you go through. So people can see that, you know, I'm a human being too. 
One of the things that Dwight is most proud of is the fact that all this fame hasn't changed him. And even with the glare of the spotlight, he hasn't lost sight of what's important. For all of his highlights on the court, he says one of his fondest playoff memories isn't a dunk or it's not a block. It was going back to his hometown of Atlanta last month and playing in front of his 90-year-old grandmother who was watching him play for just the second time ever. We'll take a break and we'll be back with more of one-on-one -on -one right after this.